when we talk about management of every disease uh, of any disease the first thing that we need to address is the diagnosis so the two important question that any oncologist need to answer is uh, and for the patient's sake is first we need to tell what the patient has so what do you have that is confirmation of the diagnosis second where all you have that is the staging workup this is also another very important thing and the third most important question is how we are what we are going to do about it that is how we are going to treat the disease so when to suspect lymphoma so the most common clinical presentation is asymptomatic lymph lymphadenopathy that is the commonly seen so painless lymphadenopathy generally in the cervical lymph nodes majority of the patients come with asymptomatic lymphadenopathy few patients can come with b symptoms also what are those b symptoms the fever fever drenching night sweats and weight loss especially more than 10 percent which has happened in preceding six months and the characteristic fever that is uh, seen in some of the in some of the patients of uh, Hodgkin lymphoma is the pearl Epstein fever which recurs at variable vaccine waning uh, fever which recurs at variable intervals there may be other symptoms also although not so defining pruritus is very common in lymphoma patients and sometimes it may precede the diagnosis by months and the lymphadenopathy at various other sites which may also produce its own signs and symptoms alcohol induced pain another very characteristic finding that is seen with Hodgkin's lymphoma pain that typically happens after alcohol ingestion ingestion at sites of bony or lymph node involvement and sometimes there may be skin involvement also in the form of urticaria erythema nodosum etc but the commonest present presentation remains painless lymphadenopathy that is the commonest with or without the b symptoms <laughs>